Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. Today is August 21st. It is uh, just a really special day. It is my oldest daughter's 13th birthday, thir 13th birthday. and so now she is a Facebook subscriber. So, um, uh, happy birthday, Abby. And so, uh, today we're going to continue on, God, are you sure? So let's talk about this just for a minute. Let's, let's look at what... Um, we see in this passage of Scripture. And I'm going to read a portion of Scripture from the Message Version. Have you ever heard of a statement, be careful what you ask for because you might get it? Last week we talked about, uh, God, can you hear me now? See, God seems to not be, when sometimes when God seems not to be listening, looking, working. This week I want to deal with, we're going to see that God does answer prayers. But sometimes the answer may not be what we, we are hoping for. Habakkuk 1, 5 through 11 in the message says, look at, listen to this. Look around at the godless nations. Look long and hard. Brace yourself for shock. Something's about to take place and you're going to find out hard to believe. I'm about to raise up the Babylons to punish you. Babylon's fierce and ferocious. World conquering Babylon, grabbing up nations right and left, a dread, dreadful and terrible people, making up its own rules as it goes. Their horses run like the wind, attack like bloodthirsty wolves. A stampede of galloping horses thunders out of nowhere. They descend like vultures, uh, circling in on the carrion. They're out to kill. Death is on their minds. They collect victims like squirrels gathering nuts. They mock kings, poke fun of, at generals, spit on forts, leave them in the dust. They're all, they'll all be blown up by the wind, brazen in the sin. They call strength their God. What Habakkuk was asking God for justice here, but not this way. He, he didn't mean for God to answer his prayer by destroying a nation. It's interesting in, in how God does things so opposite than how we would do it. In fact, God tells Habakkuk, brace yourself, something's about to take place that you won't even believe. God tells him that he's going to use the Babylonians to serve justice against his people. See, you must understand, must understand this, this morning, that the Babylonians were some of the most brutal people to ever live on the earth. They would do things like have contests to see who could skin the captures, captured enemies alive the fastest. They would cut the heads off of kings and rulers of the cities they, would con they conquered and put them on poles outside the ro roads entering into the cities. Let's be honest here. Sometimes we disagree with how God does things. When you disagree with what God answers, your prayers, then you should consider that you may be disagreeing with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. When, when you disagree with what He's trying to do in your life, then you got to understand that there's a possibility that you're out of the will of the Father. And God's saying, hey, you asked me to do something, you prayed for this to happen, and you don't like my response? You may not always like a response. Maybe you expected God to do it one way, but he says, hey, I've got a better way to do it. And you need to pay attention because when God does something, it's, it's, it, it will be according to his will, but he will not leave you out the dry. But let me tell you, sometimes that when God tells you to do something, you're obedient. And I'm going to conclude with this. It was, it was several year, years ago when I was... Uh, living in in North Carolina, and some things happened, and 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 situations took place. And I was in my prayer time one morning, and I says, God, I don't know what to do. I'm here for the long haul. I I just want to do Your will. What do You want me to do? And here's my simple prayer. I says, God, I says, whatever You want to happen, please put the ducks in the road to show me what what happened. Well, within two weeks, I was leaving, and so. Um, God put, put his ducks in the row, and I didn't think that was the ducks. But let me tell you, that out of that came some great growth in my life. Um, and so, out of situations, you can also grow up a little bit. So, as you go through this day, think on this. What you're asking God for, um, maybe he's not going to answer it the way you think he's going to answer it. Maybe think in your mind, hey, if God's answering it this way, 
then it's God's will. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much on this very special day. I pray that, Lord, that you bless Abby as she's celebrating 13. But I also pray for everyone that's watching this. I pray that, Lord, that you give them a great day and you give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody this week. In your name, amen. God bless you.